All right, here we go. All right, today we are gonna be learning about Open Router. All right, if you guys never heard about Open Router, Open Router is one source to get all the API models, okay? So if you ever need to take AI and put it into a website, this is gonna be the fastest way. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to one, it's not gonna be only the fastest way to add AI into one software, but you can add all of the AIs into any software, okay? Uh -huh. They're gonna be sick. All right, so this is gonna be how you do it. All right, I'm gonna do it quick and fast. I do have a call at 11 o'clock sharp. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. All right, so entire screen, here we go. Start to finish, we're gonna head over to a website called Open Router. All right, start there, openrouter.ai, okay? Openrouter.ai, all right? You're gonna go to openrouter.ai and boom, this is where we get all of the models. Think of this, this is the giant model dealer, okay? We insert in one and then it, it outputs to, it could output to all of these different ones, okay? Anytime there's a new model released in the AI world, Open Router is gonna have it first okay so just you don't have to go and go to sign up for sauna you don't have to get signed up for open ai you don't have to get signed up for google you can literally just go sign up for open router one subscription that's it okay and it's not even a subscription you pay a one-time credits it's beautiful all right so here we go yeah you so then you buy the api and the tokens from the relevant website right boom nailed it so i go right here to credits you can see right here i literally I'm using like 10 bucks and I, I use this thing a lot. Okay. Like it's, you could add credits. You could add $10. You could use crypto. What? Okay. So cool. You could use crypto. You could sign up with all this, all this. And it's one API that you're buy, buying for and it uses all the APIs. So you're not paying all the other ones. Okay. Super easy. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. Yep. So here's, here's what you do. This is what's cool. You go over here on the left-hand side and you're gonna get an API key. What I love about this, check this out. You can see right here, you could create multiple API keys and you could, when you create an API key, so I can name this API key and I can name this, um, I'm gonna name this um, uh, coaching call. All right, coaching call key. All right, you can name it whatever you want. It's your name. And then you could set the credit limit. So if you ever do give this API key to somebody else to test and you don't want this, to, or like sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I actually had my open API key got leaked. And that means somebody else got a hold of it and they sent a whole bunch of requests and it <laughs> yeah. cost me a, a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. It's, it's happened to me like so often that I calculated that in my monthly bill. All right, because it, it hits me. Okay. All right. So this is the way to do that. All right. So, so when we're talking about security things right before this call, this, we are jumping on this live name. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm, I need to start using that prompt more. So thank you for teaching me about the security prompt as a vibe coder. Right. Yeah, so, so let me uh, add though to that. Actually, it told me, Hey, don't share your API key. And even if you have to share it, set a limit on it. Yeah, so this, all right, so this right here, set a limit is really important. So we're just going to set five bucks, right? Or two bucks, right? Like two bucks in AI world nowadays, it doesn't cost as much. There's a lot of crazy models. So two bucks for this API key. And then it's going to give me this long API key. I love that it doesn't share the entire thing. All right, so we have this API key, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this page up and I'm just going to open up another page of open router, all right? because I'm gonna need that API key. But what we're gonna do is we're essentially gonna be going, you could copy this API key, but we're gonna need that in the future, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm Now we're gonna go to docs, okay? Documents, all right? So this is our documentation to be able to actually call the API, all right? So on the left-hand side, we have all of our API calls, all right? So if you look at this, there's model routing, prompt caching, this thing could do a lot. You can even add web search to any of your APIs right through this. All you do is add semicolon online. And that instantly adds online mode to all of your software, all right? And I'll show you guys that in a second and we'll add this literally on that call, okay? So, but we need to start with the basics, which is chat, all right? Getting to be able to chat back and forth with something is step one with an AI call, okay? So if we go down here to where it says on the left-hand side in API references, on the left-hand side, we have chat completions, okay? 
And this is all of the chat completion. So this is what you need. You need to be able to pass your authentication token. This is the API call on the left hand, the right hand side. This over here is the response. So this is when you call that API, it returns the response. And you could see right here how you could pass in the model. All right, like you could pass in the model that you actually need to be able to make this call. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I have, tell you the truth, over time you learn how to read this, but I have no clue what it actually says. All right, so what we do, this is how we do it as a vibe coder. This is the this is the new way of the future, kids. All right, we scroll down because you won't have a calculator in your pocket when you're older. All right, you'll just have AI. All right, so we copy this whole entire thing. All right, and then we copy it, and then we pop over into my AI team. All right, um, and inside my AI team, I'm gonna say chat. I'm gonna create a new snippet, and it's gonna say create, create, me a world uh, world class chat that I can chat with uh, by calling uh, this API and allow me to add my own API key and save it and keep it keep it secret so my friends don't see it. <laughs> so my friends don't see it. All right, and then, all right, and then what we're gonna do is the very first thing was we're, 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 what we just copied is I'm just gonna paste, bam, uh, all right, and now it just pasted that whole entire thing, okay? And now we could add it to a folder, okay? I'm just gonna add it to one of my folders called Jeff, all right, and then I'm gonna hit create and uh, open project, all right? So now the AI is coding up uh, this software, all right, for us. All right, yeah, this little AI guy. Mm -hmm. All right, so as this is coding, let me show you guys some other things. Inside here, we also have this API call called, because this is only one model, right? This is gonna pass in, you see the model right here? It says OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo. That's such an old model. All right, so if we go up here, there's a models, and then there's an API call. All right, let's go down to the API calls. And we're looking for the API call called uh, called models. All right, so let's see. Where is this thing? I swear I seen it earlier. Completions, list of available models. Okay, list of, of available models. And if you look at this, this is an API call. And if we hit try it, it will actually spit out this little send request. We don't even need to authenticate it. It will just spit out the entire like code right here. It's kind of cool, right? So this will spit out our model response. So let's see right here in a few seconds, my AI team hopefully will code it up. Any second now, max time could be one hour. Okay, guys, the reason I'm showing you guys open router right now is because soon my AI team will have open router. If you go into the settings right here, right now it says model. Well, right now I have 3.5, 3.5 and 3.7 as Sonnet. Well. I mean, man, there's so many more models coming out and I would literally have to connect to hundreds of different freaking APIs. <laughs> That's whack, yeah. you know what I mean? So for me, I'm trying to just like, I'm trying to connect to one, mm -hmm. all right? So I can figure settings, let's see what this thing, okay, it has a little API key input right here. Okay, 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 let's see. All right, so I hit pace. We could add adjust our temperature, max tokens. Nice, save settings. All right, cool, I have a little clear chat too, okay. All right, now we have a chat, we could select our model nice all right that's just pulling back the ones that it knows and i'm going to say hello fingers crossed all right hello how can i assist you let's go all right do you speak spanish oh let's let's talk to him you can't really see it okay so i'm going to update it uh and i'm going to say it's kind of kind of kind of hard to read the text uh i'm just going to say you know what's better can you make this 10 times better? All right, we'll just go with that, all right? And, and then we're just gonna update it and have it make it 10 times better. So we just got a call. So you guys see how in a few seconds, we are literally talking to the AI now. All right, like literally in a few seconds, we one, a, one call, we just set up and now we have AI inside of our software. Any software you guys could imagine, you guys could build this and now you guys have instantly AI as a brain. If I go to public and I set this as a public and I hit, and I hit uh, save and then I copy this little domain. I could literally send this to you guys. 
And now you guys have a link and you guys could all click on that and you guys could add your own open AI API key into the software and you guys could chat with Rip. Okay. Add you, once you add your five bucks or whatever to, to, to open router. All right. All right. So like I said, open router is going to be the future of my AI team as the brain because open router has hundreds of models, hundreds of models in this thing. And it's just going to keep getting more and more and more and more. Okay. And so the very next thing that we could do is now that we have the models, okay, instead of it just giving us a list of those models, right, where it's just saying, hey, here's the list, we could copy this curl call. Okay. This is the little curl call for this like model API. We could hit copy. All right. And I could come into here and I could also say, don't, I could also say, uh, uh, don't give me a give me default models. Give uh, actually call the API to to get the get all the models. Okay, and I'm going to paste in that API documentation from this. Okay, and this is going to spit out. So here's if we look at this. If we actually look at like this API call, okay, and what does this return? Like if we actually got nerdy in it, okay, it returns this thing that says data. This is like a giant list of data. And then it actually returns like the modality and the input, the tokenizer, the price of each one, um, every single thing like this. Like it, it returns everything about these models, okay, which is really super helpful. All right, if we refresh, we... Sometimes we actually could see a sample response. That'd be kind of helpful. So then we don't have to paste this whole thing. Um, so here is, here's one of the things that I created because, well, because sometimes you need it. You know what I mean? All right. So inside here, I made this little API caller. Um, swagger, baby. All right. Because... Inside here, I made it where sometimes you have to call these. Sometimes you have to call these APIs, and then you actually have to like be able to see like uh, see just one. You don't want to be able to see all of the API call. You know what I mean? So let's see if we could actually find this. Oh, look at these all the dashboards. So, guys, I can't wait to show you guys. Do you guys want to see? I don't want to get too distracted. Um, <laughs> well, you said you have a you uh, have a hard stop at eleven too. So yeah, all right. You guys want to see something really cool? Yeah. So this is the future of my AI team. Soon you're just gonna have a sign in like this, and then you're gonna be able to sign in, and then all of your code snippets are gonna be inside this. I'm rebuilding my AI team right now into the code snippets. In the code snippets, this right now is a snippet in is a snippet, but this is the my AI team dashboard that will be the future of my ai team now right here if you guys go in here currently if you search in my ai team it will it will lag out my ai team the new search look at this damn it's got fast as it is hey it's not it's not doing it dude don't make me a liar in live dude this is so <laughs> interesting. it's not even search I'm, I'm, I'm out this is so stupid <laughs> It didn't search. That's the only thing I'm bragging about. That's why I'm updating the whole thing. All right. Well, anyways, the new update of my AI team is going to be lightning fast in the future. And and it's going to be using open router. Right now, it just uses Claude 3.5 or 3.7, which currently, as of today, is one of the best API models. Okay. So so we have our chat. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it gave us 10 times better, and it looked like it returned uh back an error okay all right so we are here so anytime you guys need to use open router or connect ai into anything i highly highly encourage you to connect using this okay so open router is the the place okay um from there i mean super easy to top up your thing super easy to get any model that you need this has use example okay that's what's up clear form use example does it actually give me an example that'd be so nice i just kind of need to see one result is what's helpful mainly because this request is so large so 
But yeah, so then you're able to display all the models. Pretty much what I mean and what it looks like once it actually like shows you all those models is um, I have a software that I'm building for a client and I will show you. This is the visualization software and this helps build visualizations. However, there's some settings down here. Boom. And if we click on the settings, we have select our model and look at all these models. These are all the models that you could choose inside of Open Router. Like hundreds of AI models inside Open Router. So as you guys are going, or as you're like, oh man, I wish my soft, anytime a new brain comes out, you could instantly expand your software through this. Okay, so there's Claude, Claude 3 points I've saw in it, Claude, like OpenAI, the newest OpenAI. You could have ones that are instant. You could have ones that are in here that are free. Also, not every single thing on open router costs money. All right, like that's what's really amazing too. So you could literally sign up. And if you look in this into this data, inside this data, it actually also shows the pricing through all of this, through that API. And so you could build a dashboard that shows the pricing. And there are models in this that are 100% free. So as you're calling it, it doesn't cost you anything. And think about that you could build software that somebody else could use and it could have a base level in of intelligence. And you could connect that in a few seconds. So, so make sure you get your open router API key and then you plug it in, set a limit. And then anytime you need more, you could just top it up super easy, super fast. There's even auto top ups. Um, heck yeah. Hope that helps. Yep. It's amazing. Are you done? You said you had till 11. 